parts of the human digestive system. This is our digestive system. This is mouth. These are salivary glands. This is esophagus, stomach, liver, pancreas, gallbladder, small intestine, large intestine and anus. These are the parts of our digestive system. The food enters the digestive system through the mouth and then it passes down into the stomach through esophagus. From the stomach it passes to small intestine, from there to large intestine and the undigested food is finally excreted through anus. This is the flow of food in our digestive system. Here we can see that all these parts are connected to one another and forms a long tube or canal called as elementary canal. Glands like salivary glands, liver, gallbladder and pancreas are attached to the elementary canal and forms the digestive system. So, accessory glands plus elementary canal together makes the digestive system. Now, let us see the process of digestion. Whatever the food we eat, it should be made soft and wet. Because if it is rough and dry, it cannot easily travel through the elementary canal. So, whatever the food we eat, it should be made soft and wet before swallowing. Who does this job? The teeth, saliva and tongue. These three does the job of making food soft. Teeth breaks the food into smaller pieces. Saliva makes the food wet. Tongue helps in mixing the food well with saliva and makes it bolus. Saliva is a liquid secreted by three pairs of salivary glands present in our mouth. Saliva has an enzyme called as salivary amylase or tylin. It digests the carbohydrates like starch into sugars. Now, this bolus that is, the soft food has to travel throughout the elementary canal. But what makes the food to move throughout the elementary canal? The muscles of the elementary canal produce rhythmic contractions and relaxations. These contractions and relaxations create a wave-like movement called peristaltic movements. These peristaltic movements help the food to move throughout the elementary canal. Digestion and Absorption Food from mouth enters the stomach through the esophagus. Stomach is a bag-like organ. It expands when food enters into it. The walls of the stomach has gastric glands. These gastric glands secrete HCL, pepsin and mucus. Do you know the functions of HCL, pepsin and mucus? HCL that is hydrochloric acid is an acid that kills the bacteria that enters the stomach along with food. HCl also makes the pH of stomach acidic because proteins need acidic medium for digestion. Pepsin is a digestive enzyme which digests the proteins. Mucus protects the walls of the stomach from the action of hydrochloric acid. The food that is partly digested in the stomach turns into a semi-solid paste called chyme. This chyme is released into the small intestine part by part by a sphincter muscle called as pyloric sphincter. Small intestine The small intestine is a long coiled tube. Do you know why the small intestine is highly coiled? It is very much coiled to fit in small space. The small intestine receives bile juice from the liver, pancreatic juice from the pancreas and intestinal juice from the walls of the small intestine. Pancreatic and intestinal juices contain enzymes like trypsin, lipase and pancreatic amylase, peptidases and nucleases. Bile do not contain any enzymes but it does two important things. One, it breaks the fat globules into smaller globules so by that the action of enzymes on fats becomes easy. Two, it changes the pH of the intestines to alkaline because the digestion of fats and carbohydrates takes place in alkaline medium. 
In the small intestine, enzymes like pancreatic amylase, sucrase, maltase, lactase digests the carbohydrates to simple sugars called glucose, galactose and fructose. Enzymes like trypsin, chymotrypsin and peptidases converts the proteins and peptides into amino acids. Lipase converts the fats into fatty acids and glycerol. What happens to the digested food? The nutrients from the digested food is absorbed into the walls of the small intestine. The inner lining of the small intestine has finger-like projections called as villi. Each villi is richly supplied with blood vessels and lymph vessels. The digested nutrients are absorbed into the villi and get supplied to different parts of our body. Now, what happens to the undigested food? The undigested food passes into the large intestine. Here the water is absorbed into our blood and the remaining solid waste becomes into feces and finally excreted out through anus. This is all about our human digestive system. Thanks for watching. Please like the video. Please share this video with your friends. Please subscribe to Great Booster channel. Press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. Check the description to find links of other useful videos. Check the end screens for our new videos.